From New York, I'm Bonnie Quinn. And I'm Romaine Bostic. This is Bloomberg Markets. It is time now for Futures in Focus. Oil is steadying as high output and shaky emerging markets clash with stagnant U.S. drilling. And then we have copper climbing on hopes that U.S.-China trade tensions may calm. Let's bring in Scott Geekus, Chief Market Strategist at Longleaf Trading. Scott, let's go to the oil market first. What will markets be most focused on this week? Yeah, the mar market, uh, pretty much all the markets across the board are all focusing on the Chinese uh, trade talks as well as the NAFTA talks. Uh, there, you know, last week we seen a little bit of slide in oil due to the large increase in the stocks, slowing U.S. demand. However, you're still seeing record U.S. refinery output. What is a positive inkling for U.S. oil is there's still that discount to Brent supporting cheaper oil. Expected to see a little bit more oil exports. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's still the Chinese talks that are going back and forth. However, I think that the Chinese talks are going to be offset because China is still buying Iranian oil. That's something that there's not many people talking a lot about. If they continue to buy U.S. oil, they're going to be hit with more sanctions, and that could determine a lot of different outcomes with the trade war talks. So we're going to see how that plays out in the near term. But the U.S. rig count is still holding steady at 869. That's still the highest rig count since 2015. There's a huge net long speculation in the market that should restrict any fresh buying. You know, it's going to be vulnerable to stop losses around that 65 level. If we can't hold that 65 level, you're going to see that spike lower with the stop losses incurred, short covering, and we could test around at 60 level. 60 level, wow, all right. Right now we're at a 66 plus handle. Talk to us about copper, Scott. What does this all mean for copper? Is that also dependent on the outcome of these talks? Yeah, in the copper market in particular, I mean, we traded on a low yesterday with a very heavy volume on Friday, I mean. So if the open interest is at a low you know, since July, that equals it's a very low demand. You know, that has to do with a lot of the Chinese economic issues that they're going through. Supply concerns are declining with the labor issues in, Ch in Chile. So that was a little bit of a bullish catalyst. Hopefully that's going to be resolved. It stocks in Shanghai, seventh straight week of declines. So that is demand in China is still strong, but their supply is being met. So we're going to see how that plays. You know, uh, the, the Chinese talks, you know, they're going to cause short covering around that around 270 is a resistance. We need to break that 270 level to continue any upside momentum. All right. Our thanks to Scott Geekus, Chief Market Strategist at Longleaf Trading, coming to us there from Chicago.